everyone so some of you that see my community post know I got my hands on a X mods evolution trucks Hummer h2 so these are awesome little RC's I believe they were out around 17 years ago or so and unfortunately Radio Shack discontinued them back then too so they're kind of hard to get a hold of at least uh, complete and fully functional let alone all the little parts like dog bones and stuff. I got to see where I can get more stuff like that. But yeah, these were awesome little rigs. And it was actually my first experience with anything sort of upgradable, kind of hobby grade and four wheel drive. So yes, this is the original micro crawler. At least I would consider it the original micro crawler. So what we're doing today is the steering in this is broken so if i turn the transmitter on here and then turn this on you'll hear it so yeah i'm pretty sure what's going on is there's a gear inside of it because they didn't use like a traditional servo it's built into the chassis I'll show you what I mean here before we get into the time lapse of fixing it. I also have the four wheel drive kit so we can make it four wheel drive. No, these did not come four wheel drive out of the box. You had to buy a kit for that. So taking these apart can be tricky. You kind of pull these up and pull on the back and boom. See, they had body mounting figured out back then. So here's the chassis underneath, and then the flex is kind of neat how they pulled it off on these. It actually twists in the center of the chassis there. And then you've got wishbone suspension with hardly any clearance because this doesn't have the lift kit on it. If anyone has a lift kit, like complete with the tires and everything, let me know. I am looking for one. But yeah, that's the chassis and everything. So the issue with the steering is right in here. You can see... There's a little motor underneath there, and the gear on the end of this is known to crack, and the motor shaft will just spin in it. At least I'm hoping that's all that's wrong with it. If the gear is completely shot, there's no fixing it. But I have been talking to someone about printing a hobby-grade electronics uh, chassis for this, and then we'll switch it all out to modern-day electronics. But for now, I want to try to get it running as original as possible other than the four-wheel drive kit because it, to be honest they don't make it very far in two-wheel drive this is a open differential so as soon as one tire picks up you're done so yeah we definitely want that four-wheel drive and then we'll give it a little test run if i can fix this original steering otherwise we gotta wait till i get that chassis but without further ado let's get into the time lapse of fixing this thing up and we'll talk a little bit at the end Take a freeze frame Been on that Always in motion Like a weak game Can't stop now Won't slow down But see me these days I rewind I replay I switch to coasting Like a sea change We say Hey Every morning have to take a breath Looking at the life of manifest I ain't even had my breakfast yet And I ain't even have to cash checks Still living off 2017 money money Success makes things been funny funny Everybody wanna be real buddy buddy Now I'm good I cut real buddies buddy Tell me what you're calling for Tell me what you need Sorry I'm not here so leave a message at the beat Tell me all your promises I'll be in my dreams Singing out the window while we Dropping by to see, I'm feeling good, good. As you've seen, it's back together. It's got the four-wheel drive kit in it. Other than that, the chassis underneath is completely stock. Stock motor, stock gearing, as far as I know. But it's got, like, no power. Let's see if it can make it up this. Nope. That's full throttle. No, 
know, let's see if we can get it with a run. One more. And it made it. So don't judge it too harshly. This is an old RC. It's something like 20 years old. So of course it's not exactly like it would have been back in the day, but still it does move and it does function. The steering is terrible. I remember it being terrible back when I had a new one too, but uh, we'll address that with the new chassis that I uh, talked to someone about 3D printing for me. And that should allow me to upgrade it to modern electronics too. So first upgrades we're going to be doing in the next video in the time lapse, we have the uh, off-road lift kit and the off-road tires. So here's an idea of it next to stock. So these ought to be cool to mess around with. I never got that with my old one, or if I did, I don't remember much about it. And then this is something I never did get a hold of. We've got some aluminum GPM parts here. We've got the rear hub, and it's got bearings in it, so it spins nice and smooth. You can still take it apart. Once this threads off, you can see what's inside here. There you go. You can see the uh, bearings and everything right there. So you just screw that back together. And then I'll show you the front knuckles. Again, thanks to Robert, my uh, buddy's buddy, for hooking us up with this stuff. Did some work for him, helping him move and everything. Then we've got the aluminum knuckles here. Same thing, they've got bearings in them, as you can see. Shielded bearings in this one. And then most importantly, at least in my opinion, metal dog bones. So these are not going to snap. That's the one issue I had with mine way back in the day in high school is these, the plastic ones that are in here, would snap. Like you'd get up on something, the tire would start to spin, and as soon as it touched, the dog bone would just snap. So we don't got to worry about that, which is awesome. So yeah. I'll be installing those in the next video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I didn't really go outside and my lighting in here is terrible, but uh, it's what I've got. So, yeah. Stay tuned if you want to see more of this old rig getting upgraded. We're going to be putting a NP Racing 90T motor in here. And when I was over at uh, our buddy's house... He had a smaller pinion for the X-Mod, so I put that on here, and this is the main motor that'll be in it. I'm going to be putting my uh, Fury Tech Lizard ESC in it with the Bluetooth, so we'll be modernizing it there. And it'll be on my FlySky GT5. Uh, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed. As I said before, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. It really helps out. And hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I post. You don't want to miss the next upgrades on this and when we can finally break it out and actually try it. So yeah, have a great one everyone. Talk to you in the next one.